Hey everyone, Silver Cheesecake, and welcome back to Shadowgate. I play around a little bit, and I learn some things. So first of all, this, I can actually open it, and nothing bad will happen. And I can burn this dude, and nothing bad will happen. Because the ancient wrappings are so dry that they almost disintegrate in the flames. As it burns, a skull tumbles to the floor along with that scroll that escaped the fire. So I can take the skull and he has a little thingy on his head. On it. I mean. Drawing of a castle with a single tall spire in the center has been scrawled on this parchment. A single line points to the exact middle of the tower. And next to it, these words, three times right, then once pulled down, twice past midnight, points the ruined crown. Light becomes dark. This king sits a throne. The mask one revealed shall mark this stone. Okay, now. Oh, okay. I thought I saved. But let's go. Just use the hammer. Okay, cool. There we go. Let's go back. Another thing I found out. Okay, so the deal, the deal with that, that coffin that I opened up. I didn't want to open up because, you know, I'm thinking back in the original Shadowgate, if you open it up, you're effed. Some goo like comes out, and then when you try to go to the next room, you step in the goo, and then it disintegrates you. So I'll try my best to not have so many uh, preconceptions from the last game. I don't know if that's the right way to say that. Anyway, now the deal with the spells, I can use the spell on stuff instead of just randomly speaking it. So if I use it on here, it actually opens it. You focus your will on the stone hatch, whispering the words of the spell. A strange power flows out of you, enveloping the stone hatch. After a moment, the stone lid opens. So this is as far as I've gone. Let's save this crap. There it goes. Okay, you lean close. Stone compartment harbors a strange mechanism. One comprised of levers, rods, and gears. Huh. I wonder if this one goes in that empty space right there. Using the gear has no effect on the gears. Man, why not? Oh look, there's that symbol right there. That was on the waterfall. Oh, okay, never mind. Alright. So we got petrified wood. Piece of oak. A dwarven. Okay. Oh. Uh, hold on. Can I look at this? What's this? to hit the button. Dang. Perhaps the mechanism is not powered. Oh, right. Alright. Okay. Does this have anything to do with it? No, I, I highly doubt it. Right. Um, maybe I can use a spell. Nope. Alright, let's try using one of these. I hit it. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm sure that. Oh, okay, okay. So. Oh, okay. I get. It, I get. It. Okay. Oh crap. You're not much of a conversationalist, are you, lad? <laughs> nope. Well, the thing that kind of sucks is that this this is gonna use turns. Man, you are the least helpful skull ever. Not that any skulls are helpful, but maybe there's something with the uh, the waterfall. Lord, I'm already screwing up. Maybe the river is what powers it. I don't freaking know. God dang it. <sighs> Slaps out of your hand and into the slot on the archway. There's a brief glow and a thrum of power fills the air. Something just beyond the door seems to have come alive. Uh oh. Wait, was that was that like that that archway? Is that always like that? Oh, looky looky. Holy crap. I'm unable to go to the button? Oh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I clicked go, that's why. I'm stupid. Here we go. Punching the button produces an ear splitting screech of protest as the gears try to spin. After that, the silence is almost deafening. Man, that took forever. Holy crap. That took like 15 minutes to figure out. I'll tell you, these, these puzzles are difficult. God dang. Alright. No, I think the gear should go right there. Right? Uh, hold on, what, what happens if I hit one of these and I hit the button? Okay. Uh. Okay. I'm confused by that, but whatever. Man, I got so freaking close. Man. So close. And this gear has to be put somewhere. try again. Does it have to do with these things? Because I was testing that out earlier. God dang it. Try again. Can you can you tell me it? Mushrooms, I dreamt of mushrooms, does that mean anything? You probably took mushrooms, that's why. to do this.
Wizards use many mechanisms like this. If the levers are positioned correctly, one only needs to press the button to enact great change throughout the castle. So I... Okay, if it's that, then... I do think it has something to do with this freaking scroll. Three times right, then once pulled down? That doesn't make any sense, because the, if that, this really applies to that, because... Hold on. If I do it three times on the right one, I'll just bring it back to its normal position. And then pull down once. And twice past midnight. Points the ruined crown. Man. What? God, I guess guessing works sometimes, but geez, how was I supposed to get that? What did I do wrong? Or what was I missing? I don't, I don't know. Okay, the mechanism goes viral and begins to move. The sound of rushing water comes from deep within the castle. <sighs> well, that sounded encouraging, eh, boy? I should probably go see what that just did. Oh my God. That was impossible to figure out. I still don't know what it was. It's like that puzzle from Sukete. Oh, why? Serious. Oh. Showing barrier of lightning like energy stands between you and the far side of the hall. Alright. So does that mean I can't go in here? Oh, I can. Okay. Hey! Look. Oh. This small cave makes a great hideaway, concealed as it is by the waterfall. That dude is dead. His corpse is dressed in what was once a regal set of robes. Blood stains the collar, perhaps providing a clue as to what killed this unfortunate soul. Take his head. Yeah. Obelisks. Now there's something I would like for if I were you. Wizards love them. Okay. So that's some sort of bird. And that's a cyclone of some sort. And this is some sort of writing. Symbols etched on the wall look something like the written language of the steps ma magi. For a traveling troop of performers and fortune tellers. You remember visiting one such carnival in your youth at Stormhaven. Now, if I remember correctly, right. there was something I had that had some sort of crap. What was it? Was it this one? No. There's something I had that had like a griffin and something else on it. I'm trying to remember what it was. I thought it was this. Oh. Can I hit this? Where do I take the runes? <laughs> Alright. Cannot take it. Oh. Magic. Ho ho ho, it's magic. You know. I never believe it's not so. Man, I, I'm trying to use the... Thanks. Alright, that did nothing. Okay, cool. I swear, this is probably... No. Mm. Combining spells, great. 
nothing. Okay. It's probably the most ineffective. Oh, hold on. Wait. If I took the skull, that means I just go back and I, I do. I put the thing in the thing. But. Hmm. Okay. It's the other slot then. Yeah. Strange sucking sound. The skull fills the slot on the archway. Hairs on your arms rise as you feel power gather in the air, reaching deeper into the castle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? That was weird. Yorick. <laughs> okay, thanks. I'll do that. Runs begin to come apart. You change your mind, deciding it's not best to take the corpse. All right, open it. Ah, there we go. You search the corpse for anything useful. Your efforts produce two scrolls, which you deposit in your pack. Thank goodness. All right. Oh, so we got a spell. You read the words on the scroll. One particular word stands out from the rest. Mix or mics. Probably mix. In your mind's eye, you see glyph glowing with power. As you quickly write down the strange marking in your spell book, the scroll crumbles in your hand. You have learned a spell. You read the hastily scrawled words on the scroll. Excuse me, I'm gonna yawn. <sighs> okay. Brother, if you are reading this, then I am no more. Our best defenses cannot hold against this power. I fear we have underestimated this ambition and the depths he would travel in the dark arts. Protect the seals at all costs. He does not get them. I know it's forbidden to enter each other's demence, de de domain. But I implore you to follow the ley lines to the loan. Keep and add your strength to Unthalms. If nothing else, perhaps our weathermaster can blunt the evil one's advance, especially with your support. Fare thee well, Fondrel the High. Okay. No, oops. Alright, mix. That would make sense because it's like mixing. Yeah. Sweat beads your brow as you concentrate on the glyph and then release the spell. The power of your magic flies about in a spectacular fashion but does not, or does a little else. Oh, because it didn't work. I am screwing up. That's a bad idea. Oh crap, my torch. wrong with me? Oh, crap. Oh, that could be bad. Oh, that could be really bad. I might actually have to start over because of that. I remember the review saying something about a curse. That is not a good thing. Ah, 
Oh, great. Oh my god, I freaking don't even know, dude. Today. <sighs> Alright, guys. Thank y'all for watching. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. And as always, peace!